Oh, that works. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to round two of our standard PPTQ here at GameSwap Mason, uh, hosted by Top Tech Productions. For those of you watching, thank you for watching. No matter how you're watching or where you're watching, we appreciate you spending your Saturday afternoon with us. Uh, events like this is helped by both your our Twitch subscribers and our Patreon supporters. Uh, that allows us to stream not only four nights of uh, magic every week, but events like this. We're going to expand that out as well. So if you love live magic, Give us a sub here on Twitch. You get that free Twitch sub with Amazon Prime. And support our Patreon at patreon.com slash Top Tech Productions. And also, speaking of subs, for every sub, we don't currently have a sub goal, but... We're, we'll, we're still we'll thinking of one. one. Yeah. yeah, we're still so thinking of some sub goals. if you subscribe right now, we'll put that towards the next subscription yeah. goal, all right? And if you have one, please let us know what it is, because... Yeah, we want to we create content for you. We want to start streaming yeah. the... Whatever you guys want for the next sub goal, let us know. We'll make it happen, all right? Yep. For example, um, we have so many delicates. I'm going to write about a format I hate. I'm sure you can be convinced to do something stupid, too, young Matthew Minier. Oh, I already have an idea in mind, but I don't... I'm not, I'm not going to say it, because if I say it, then, you know... We'll, we'll I'm pretty, see. We'll see. Pretty sure Ted Dwyer is Irish. No, uh, nine yeah, percent sure is. he's Irish. Uh, the zeros on the screen uh, is going to be your energy counters. So, yep. just as an FYI, we got Ted Dwyer on the black white vehicles. He was a pretty big proponent of uh, saplings, but he's uh, shifted off that. Thank you. I cannot pronounce that. Um, X I I A Q. Thank you so much for the follow. I used to be like, I, I think whenever it's like a solo X, I always pronounce that as like a Z. I can see, like, I know, like, um, X there's, I, a, like Z, you know? there's a Monty Python uh, character called, uh, Colonel Jimenez, and it started out with an X-I-M, so maybe it's uh, Hayek, and hello, Pedro, thanks for joining us in chat, so Ted Dwyer on vehicles, they cut a howl on Green White Legends, he said he's made some, uh, tweaks, excuse me, to the list he's been playing the past two weeks, Yep. I know he's using some, uh, Liver Elves, Mox Opals, and some Green White Legends uh, I'm to trying to think of what the two mana Green White Legend is. It's... Shayna. Shayna Sase's yes. Legacy. Yes. That's the big one he's playing. I think that one is sweet. I think he has, uh, Lyra and Shalai too. Is he on Abzan? He... No, that's he does... Forest. If he has Lyra, he only has a few of them. I played against him, uh, just a little bit ago. It's a turn two Murph from Blanche Walker. He's gonna fuel a forest into his hand. No counter there. Just pass back to Ted, who will... Cycle cast up. Drew a liar off that cast out. Drew a knight of malice for the turn. Place the scamper from the ground into the knight of malice. That is, is a huge card in this matchup yes. because of the keyword first strike. Which Not only that, that, but it has hexproof from white. Ah, it's the first. Strike. But that, that's pretty important because like all Dakota's removal is going to be white. It green is does all not white, have good removal. But Dakota is more focused on his creature base, especially in the main board. So he, he's all about the combat, and first strike really slows him down. Yep. There is Knight of Malice, the one black 2-2 two, two first striker, Hexproof from white. As long as they, any player controls white permanent, gets plus one, plus zero. It is the polar opposite of the Knight of Glory, which is the white version that has yeah. Hexproof from black. I love what they did with those two. So do I. It's pretty pretty big flavor win. Pretty, and pretty big importance to standard, too, considering the amount of seal ways running around, too. Mm -hmm. Ted's draw for the turn was a Toolcraft Exemplar. Not sure if he has land number three, though. Um, I don't see one in Ted's hand. I see another Knight of Malice. Is a true craft. Like the card in the far left, out. I think, is the Aether Fox or Harvester. I, I think that's what it's doing. He's got Lyra, maybe a Harvester. Um, cast out. Is that a history of uh, Benelia? Possibly. In the middle. I don't know. Ted's keeping it close to his chest. Here's two mana. Here is a, another Night of Malice. His pack okay. is the back. No he land. He is stuck on two. That is rough. Land three would have been good there for Ted. Uh, I think Ted's also a deck that wants to see five every game. Yeah, absolutely. So, he doesn't need it. But, but it's the ideal it's, for you. Yeah, character. especially without uh, Heart of Karen. We had Heart of Karen to be okay, but he does not have it currently. Dakota looking at a seal away in his hand that is completely useless on this board. Dakota got a jam in there for three in the air. He's going to pay the one energy, give his Harvester lifelink 10 down to 17, Dakota up to 23. So, Dakota has no idea currently that Ted is on vehicles once they uh, converse before. Yeah, uh, he's just thinking about knights. Yeah, for sure. All Ted is thinking right now is just a bunch of knights. And if I was Dakota, seeing Ted playing knights, I think I'd be more worried than if Ted was playing vehicles. Uh, Andrew, what do you mean? We have Andrew uh, asking in chat, can a judge tell him that? Tell him what? I'm mm, trying to get clarification on that. Was that a Shayna there? Yeah, that's a Shayna in play. All right, so that's the card that I think yes. Dakota is 
not really centered around, but it's like he's it's an important card. Deck. It helps uh, Mox Opal, uh, Mox, Opal, Mox Amber uh, early on. Um, I, you know, we played Avaya on Wednesday, I believe it was, was the. Uh, <laughs> and just saying, can Judge tell him that he needs la three land? I don't think he drew land three again. Yeah, he definitely missed one. Yeah, Ted's going to be so behind right here. I mean, he still has a decent chance because uh, these Night Analysis are now 3 2 first strikers thanks yeah. to Shayna. It's also just really unfortunate because his opener was like fine. Like two lands, two knights, a malice, yeah. and then a bunch of other good good cards. But he just couldn't pull it off. Just the attack from one. And the card's going to play a seal away. And he's not going to be happy with how this uh, turns out. Because seal away resolves. And then it's um, a triggered ability. So seal enters the battlefield. Its ability triggers. It attempts to target the malice, and it fails to target because the attack is from white. So Dakota learns it the hard way. Back down to twenty. Here is a cycled cast out, and a toolcraft exemplar off the top, which is the absolute worst draw there from Ted. Little surprise, he has a seal of his own in his hand. Surprise, he didn't uh, save it for the harvester. The cut of meanwhile carving out fine on lands. Looks like he's got um, something is that, coming. Uh, is that Shalai. Shalai? That is Shalai, Voice of Plenty. Not to be confused with Teshar, which have very similar artworks. Yes, they but do. But a Shalai, Voice of Plenty, the three four, um, gives himself and all his other creatures. Not sex himself. Proof. Oh, like uh, Dakota. Yeah, Dakota has sex proof. Shalai and doesn't creatures. have it. Yes. We're gonna bring it up here. Uh, and then you can pay six mana, a four colors, and a double green to put a plus one plus one counter on each creature control. And in Dakota's deck, that is huge. That seems pretty good. Like it. Uh, that also is... seems. Ability seems pretty good in Constrictor. This is why Shalai is yeah. another one of my top five cards. It in is Dominaria. also one of my top five cards. It's just being able to give yourself hexproof is it huge. It's my number three. Giving your other creatures hexproof is gigantic. It's against... also just a three four flyer. Yeah, which is not mana, bad. Which is pretty good. Land number three is an isolated chapel that can comes into play tapped. It also has pretty nice art as well. But Ted has the ability to seal away this Shalai. Um, is... Or the Harvester. I'm not sure which one you I the Shalai. You, yeah, you want to get rid of that Shalai. If the Dakota does not have a land to follow up, then Ted has a really good All turn right, here. So Ted didn't Bliss the draw there from the do Dakota. it on his turn. So he's probably going to try and do it in but combat, he, oh, he, 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 he can't do it. He has to seal away a tap creature. I know, yeah. So he's going to do it during combat, like when Dakota attacks. Uh, Deb, I believe um, either that or there's confusion because um, it says... Yeah, because it's, it's fun. It says Hexproof from white. Yeah, it's Hexproof from white. So yeah, it just says no seal away can, target. Yeah, yeah, so seal away can't target it. Because there's always the confusion with that uh, Shayna has... It can't be targeted by abilities. So you can target it with spells... Uh, thanks for tuning in, Shannon. Yeah, you can target Shayna with spells, but not abilities like Seal Away. So uh, there may have been confusion there, or just the fact that uh, uh, they could have just blanked on the Hexproof from White. Yeah, but Seal Away, it targets when it enters the battlefield, not cast, which is why it still uh, yes. resolves. So the Kodak going for Crew Aphis per Harvester, activate Shayna, put counters on everything. And this play is not going to turn out the best for the Kodak. Because still can be pretty good though. Oh no, Dakota wisely not attacking with the Shana. Okay, that is fine. Dakota can be blown out if he well, attacks with everybody. I, I yeah, think it's still rather seal away Shalai. Yeah, you seal away Shalai. You get rid of Shalai. You still take four to the thirteen, but now you get your three mana. You're a little bit closer to playing Lyra. He's gonna draw his fourth land here. Come on, Ted, you can do it. And then, I mean, Ted's ability to he's gonna play history of Benalia too, which is gonna right, be so gigantic. Apparently, Ted's at six. He missed some damage somewhere in there. No, he just took a lot of damage that turn. That's all. He, he does draw land number four. He only took four damage that turn. Oh, he took one of the four. I thought. No, branch marker crude. We didn't miss. We missed the combat yeah. step. Sorry. So life trolls are updated twenty three to six. Okay. Oh, he did draw the fourth land. Nice. He really needs to be able to block. Uh, this harvester though he has a harvester of his own. I think harvester of owns the best play because he can use the energy to gain some life. Yeah, he can go toolcraft and harvester. Um, yep, I'd be looking for that play. And then if he hits the fifth lane, he can go Lyra. Yeah, and gain even more life. So Ted's life total, as though it does seem like it's very low, he has ways to get it back up. Uh, Pedroth, 
or just Pedro eight. Thank you, Pedro, for the follow. Saw you in chat earlier. Thanks for yep. following. Um, don't forget, if you really want to support us and help us create more content like this, be, give us that sub here on Twitch. Uh, it lets us stream uh, more often. We can add uh, another weeknight. Oh, uh, speaking to our of um, content, tomorrow is the Adamant Man tournament. Uh, at the moment, we are not streaming it, but we yeah, might if you want out to see, a way. So what we'll do for pre-releases is we'll stream all pre-releases, and then everyone who uh, takes place in all five pre-releases to GameSwap Mason. Which is uh, right now, including me and Jake. Right. Yeah, yeah. So we'll I'm not be... in. The, I'm not in the tournament. I didn't pre at all. My, si my sister got married. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. you're at the wedding. But essentially, uh, everyone who okay. um, participates in all five yeah. releases plays in a limited tournament where the winner gets a free uh, entry into the oh, next Jake, Hey, what are you doing tomorrow, Jake? Uh, I am uh, spending time with my family and my girlfriend. Oh, all right. Well, if we do end up streaming it somehow, uh, I will be playing in that. Yeah. So you might see me on camera. Plans yeah. Sealed. Support from viewers like you, like our subs and our patrons, allow us to create more content such as more more limited uh, events such as the Adamant Man tournament that GameSwap Mason our first Dakota. Okay, so... It's feeling pretty good, not so much anymore. Yeah, so the play we talked about with Toolcraft um, Harvester is looking really good right now. now. Dakota does have a walking ballista in hand. Uh, that can shoot down the Toolcraft, right? It, it could shoot down the crew half, but also... It can uh, shoot it down, can the shoot down the... It can also shoot the Knights, but also... Uh, Currently, uh, Dakota's Harvester is 4-6, Ted's is 3-5. Okay, so you're talking about attacking with Harvester and then shooting it twice? Yeah, but it looks like Dakota might just make his Harvester a 5-7. What is it current? Oh, yeah, he can just pick up Here's a Rishkar. In response to the Rishkar trigger, he's going to... I don't think he's doing anything. He's gonna, no, he, he, he's crewing the Harvester, but he wants to decide which creature to crew it with. I would just crew it with Rishkar. He's not going crew at all. The danger of crewing with Rishkar is that uh, the branch walker could just get uh, first strike blocked. Thank you, Marco Shadow Five for the Marco Chan Five for the follow. Appreciate that. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for spending oh, yeah. Saturday so with I us. I would crew with Rishkar and then, well, I don't know what's in his hand or currently, but. With the current board, just screw with Rishkar and then leave Branchwalker for the block. Because I'd rather block with Branchwalker than Rishkar. This is an Ixlong's Binding. Uh, getting rid of that... Uh, hopefully not Knight. Uh, yeah. Nope, gets rid of the Aphosphere Harvester. Uh, Knight has Texture from White, so... Yeah. And this is attack for four. Head down to two. So now Ted needs a lot of help here. Dakota has Ballista in hand. I, I do not think Ted has a way around this. He draws lane, lane number five. I imagine he just slams Lyra, but... Uh, if the coder does indeed have that uh, blister in hand, like I think he does, Ted is just uh, dead. Dead. Done. Done. So here's Lyra. All right. Normally, pretty good card. Even if uh, he doesn't have the blister, he can just win with Aethersphere Harvester combat. It, you know, he has to walk with Lyra, and then Lyra's just gonna die. Yep, here's blister. I'm gonna shoot you for two. Ted's gonna scoop it up. Yep. Uh, Dakota Hava wins game one. Thank you, Maximilian, for the follow. Appreciate that. Dakota Howell and his Green White Legends taking advantage of Ted Dwyer's uh, little bit of a mana problem there for Ted. He had yeah, a really good hand, just didn't come drops. together for him. Missing two straight land drops. He had the option to history in turn three. But now the Irishman is on the play in this matchup, which I imagine is where he wants to be. Uh, Dakota's deck isn't the fastest. It can have some powerful stuff. But it's not the fastest in the world, and Ted... I'd say Dakota's like a turn six deck. I mean, Dakota... I can, I can see that. I, I mean, mean for the first couple turns, he's really just ramping up. Yeah, yeah. Like, because his creatures start out pretty weak, but then they get stronger the later Like, his only plays was just he played um, uh, Murfolk into Harvester into Shayna, and that was, you know... Yeah. Seal away. He wasn't doing... He wasn't coming up that fast. Ted wants to be fast and furious. Um, no putt attended there. On the vehicles, Ted. Shockingly saying he'll be on the play here for game two. Shockingly. Every next year Ted is play. not gross. Ted is a very dapper looking fellow, if I do say so myself. So it looks like Ted's already done sideboarding. He knows what he wants. Not surprised there. Ted, um... Maybe not. Maybe no, he Ted, is. Ted looks like he's locked into his sideboard, and Dakota's still trying to figure out what he wants to take in, and more importantly, what he wants to take out. And I that's think 
probably some of the hardest. The coder probably got work. frustrated with the sealaways with the Knight of Malice. Maybe <laughs> he's probably just looking at it. He's like, "Gosh, this card probably sucks. Look at all these Knight of Malice. Maybe I don't want this card." <laughs> Hopefully, he doesn't do that because sealaway is an amazing card. It is. It is. This is the one problem I have with like straight green light deck is that its removal is all enchantment based. It doesn't do. Yeah. Uh, as much as we'd like it to do. Um, can someone in chat figure out what, what this card is from? I'm just going to describe it to you. Uh, it's from Kalash Block. It destroys all artifacts and enchant- Maybe it's just all artifacts, but I think it's artifacts and enchantments from Kalash Block. Kalish. It's standard legal for sure. Mario was talking to me about it, and he's just like- he, he likes it a lot. And if it is, it might just be all artifacts, but if it's also enchantments, that card is not bad. It it's is standard like, legal. Yeah. It is- Okay, so you could choose either. Yeah. Looking no, that's Austria lists. Command. Hold on. Here we have not standard lingo or Cards of Revenge. Not Austria Command. Beta Progress. Not standard lingo. Fracturing Gust. Good card. Not legal as standard. I need the standard legal ones. I do not see any standard legal card that says destroy all artifacts and enchantments. All right, it's probably just all artifacts then. All right, that's unfortunate. Well, if it was all enchantments, then we could. I imagine it'd be an that, Aether that'd Revolt. Be sweet side. Yeah, I think it was Aether Revolt or Kalish, but. That'd be a sweet sideboard tech to blow up all this white enchantment removal we have currently mm -hmm. in standard. I don't see it. I'm not finding one there, buddy. Maybe Mario lied to me. You call him Mario. Here, by force, destroy X no, 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 no. Turtle Artifacts. It, it was a white card. It was a white card? Yeah, he specifically told me that he was going to play it in his white, well, white deck. Let's uh, pull up uh, the full spoilers to start. Alright, we'll figure it out. Destroy all enchantments? I think it was artifact. It, it might have been artifacts and enchantments, but it was for sure all artifacts. And it was for sure Kaladesh block. Yeah, it was Kaladesh block. Well, that's what he said. Try to pull up. I can't find the Kaladesh symbol. There we go. And it was a white card. Just mono white. I think so. Yeah. All right. Looking right, through the list see. here, you got the spoil list. Looking through all the white. Both players still sideboarding, so nothing's happening right now. Should be a sorcery too. I don't know why that would be an instant. I mean, to be fair, back to nature's an instant. Man, can you imagine they were from back to nature and core set? <laughs> oh goodness gracious, that'd be amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what we get in this core set. All right, let's check out. Aether I'm expecting Revolt. a lot of tribal themes in the core set. I'm pretty tribal themes. Yes. Well, we just had all the tribal themes in Exile. <laughs> yeah, they were non-traditional oh, wait, tribal themes. Up. What we got? We might have it here. Or no, or wait. No, we just see no. um, our stream that are trying to help us out too. He's pulling up a uh, decommission fracture. Frag Was it a single target? I don't know. Maybe Mario lied to me, but I don't think Mario's well, a lying well, kind of guy. Did, did we'll, we'll ask Mario. Uh, for well, more. I, yeah, for those who don't know, Mario he commentates uh, every Friday. Uh, not every Friday, but he is like the him, uh, Mario Cabrari and Mark Amicar are the so, commentating pair for Fridays. Occasionally, they're not. Able There's to a it. consulate crackdown, which is an ah, enchantment. Ah, yes, this one. But that only takes care of artifacts. Okay, so it's what just is the battlefield exile artifacts until? It oh, but it's an enchantment, which yeah. is why I was thinking enchantment. Okay. okay, okay. So. All right. Puzzle no back to nature s card in standard currently. Maybe that changes. Maybe not. I mean, it depends on yes, how. Yes, please. Back to nature. It depends please. on how play design views enchantments right now. I mean, don't forget they printed it right after Theros, the enchantment block. Yeah. Uh, I think white enchantments are very strong right now. And I think it also just made people, like, stop wanting to play all these, like, Scarab Gods mm -hmm. and stuff, too. Because it was just this, like, four-mana enchantment that just gets rid of it and every single other I mean, personally, I don't, I do not care about, like, stuff like Islam's Mining, because I'm playing Blue Black, I play Commit to Memory, I now yeah, have, uh, Blink of an Eye, yeah. 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 Blink of an Eye is an amazing card, too. Both players taking a look at their seven, uh, I just see one landed here. Oh, no, Ted has two lands. One is a Chef and a Dunes, it looks like. Dakota. Right. See, I want Ted to keep his hand if it is two lands, and then just draw No, he looks like he's got he's got lands. I think there's a okay. concealed courtyard gotcha. in there as well. Yeah, I think two lands for Ted's deck is like a, a fine start. You just need to draw into the third for uh, sure. Ted's not going to keep it, though. Neither is the Kuda. Might have been two lands. Might have been two lands, no black sources. Both players, two lands, no black sources. I can Yeah, I don't want to keep that, keep that yeah. Especially if one was a colorless land, so that's no good. But players are eleven six. Uh, who would you say the uh, this favors? Um, obviously, you never want to mulligan, but some decks mulligan better than others. Uh, so if I want to say it favors Dakota, just because he's able to uh, 
Because if Ted mulligans into a hand that only has vehicles and no creatures, that's really awkward. And Dakota's, um, all of his cards are, like, help him get to his late game. Mm -hmm. Like, he has explore triggers, he has early creatures. I feel like, too, in certain matchups, like, Dakota's playing control. And he's not relying He has the, the ability to flood the board early and empty out his hand, but that's not the best thing yeah. you want to do, certainly. Oh. Two baffling, baffling ends. ends in Dakota's hand here, and a seal away. And a seal. All the enchantment removal. All the removal with Dakota. But no white source? I saw a uh, forest. There's got to be a white source in there, because he's keeping it. Both players will or keep maybe he and spread to the bottom. Draw into it. <laughs> the confidence for Dakota. I don't see a white source in there. Swamp pass from Ted. Someone Dakota draws a Lyra Dawbringer. There's a white source. Okay. Some Pillar Grove. All right, All right, here we go. Both players will get to play Magic this game, it looks like. Turn to Knight of Malice. <laughs> they go very slowly and <laughs> taps <laughs> with all, right. all this white paste removal in his hand. Baffling end. Seal away. Feels good, man. Did Ted just draw another <laughs> Night of Malice? Yes, please. Come on, Ted. He did. Jam it. Three mana. Here's the history of Benalia. Okay, uh, this is really good. This is an insanely good card. Because if this forces uh, Dakota to use his enchantment removal on these night tokens, that's just insane for Ted. Yes. Three mana to get rid of. I mean, two it is removal permanent spells. removal, but yeah, he's getting well, another night next. He's getting another night next turn. Yeah, I mean, it's a token. Like Ted doesn't actually care too much about that. And more importantly, though, it's going to pump but up yeah. the Night of Malice. It's currently giving it uh, an extra point of toughness, and then when it ultimates, uh, it gets some. Well, history is already doing that. Baffling end is just. No, I mean, like when it uh, hits phase uh, chapter three, it's going to yeah, yeah, give yeah, that a, a buff down the yeah. turn. Yeah, so I was pretty sure Ted was uh, playing a, a night variant. But I think he's also just playing vehicles in it. Which I think is actually pretty cool. Playing knights and vehicles. Yeah. You said that uh, won a PPTQ? Night of Malice, number, it came in second. Uh, came the vehicle deck came in second in the PT, uh, online PTQ. Gotcha. Second knight and uh, two graphics so far from Ted. That's a really good flooding turn. flooding the board. Uh, Ted missed a land drop. I don't think it really matters. No, it is, does not matter here. Ted can follow up his turn with a uh, Strap Heap uh, to pump the two graphics so far and he get can it for a, a up this lot game of for, damage. Like, almost lethal. Well, Dakota. Least, hold on. All right, if Dakota doesn't play any like blockers or baffling ends, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 so, damage. He's got the baffling end and a seal away, but yeah. he only has one white source. So currently Ted has 17 damage, and if he baffling ends away um, the knight token, Ted will have 3 plus 5 for each of the knight of malices. That's, uh, Ted will be one short. Yeah. Okay, interesting. We'll I feel like they could have has to take care of this two graph exemplar though. Instead of the knight token, the knight token's four damage. That's a good point. Yeah, he's gonna take care of the token. Looks like because yeah. if he doesn't get rid of the token, uh, Ted is lethal. All right, okay, so go. Ted's gonna be one short. Ten taps, he draws. Chapter three hits. Okay. So both those knight analysis are doing five points of damage. So Ted was, uh, Dakota's about to scoop it up, but it's 13. Ted just, just realized I can't come back with this. Scoops yeah. it up. Way Ted too fast to start. Pretty, All right, so that's what Ted deck is Pretty aggressive to. start. And he just is that what he wanted and to Yeah. The main thing is that third land. That's all Ted needs. Yeah. If he hits the third land, he, I mean, he I'm sure he'd like land four and five for a card like okay, Fire he end. would, but once he hits History of Benelia. Yeah, especially with the nine analysis. Dakota, with again, nine analysis. Dakota's removal is going to be white-based. Nine yeah. analysis completely blanks that. And, yeah, that was, that was pretty funny, though. We were talking about, or at least I was, maybe he was going to side, side out some of the seal aways or something just because of the Night of Malice. And now I it, found it interesting. I imagine, he brought in, bite him. I imagine he brought in the Baffling End. I think he did, yeah. You know, maybe his logic is that... I don't think that's wrong because there's only four cards in the yeah. deck that have Pro White. Maybe his logic was, um, I mean, you have, yeah, exactly. You only have four cards that can't target. Uh, Ted uh, just happened to see two in them that game. Ted might be playing two and Shalai, three. though, too. That's another hexproofy thing. Would not be shocked if he's playing July. I hope he's playing it. You don't get the 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 pump you see, effect, but I think you do see a July in that really sideboard good. there. Yeah, definitely sideboard worthy. Yeah, Ted's just talking about July. He said he's pretty big. Is on that it. a is that a settle he's pointing pulling in there? What's it does look like a settle the wreckage. Yeah, I mean it definitely is a settle the wreckage. I don't know if he's bringing it in or not. It looks like he is, though. So I guess being on the draw, Ted won't settle. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. No, no, Especially no. Especially against a huge creature deck. Yeah, yeah. I the like The code is going wide. It looks like two settle as well. He wants to go wide and go uh, big. Let's see what he's taking out. Oh, he's taking out Karns. Dude, was Ted? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. I mean, I can see the 
I thought he took out one Karn, but I just saw him pass the second Karn. So maybe he's not taking out his Karns. I don't I, mean, know. I can see the logic on the It looks like he took out two craft exemplar. All right, yeah, so yeah that's exactly something you want to take out on the draw. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Two craft and looks like scrap heaps. So okay. the aggressive cards, they gone. The defensive cards, they in. So I think Ted's plan here is to get Karn and get Lyra mm -hmm. win. Cyborg 101. Take out the cards that look bad, put in the cards that look good. Yeah. Win the game. Yep, uh, but he's definitely going more late game. Yeah. And he should be able to get there, too. Uh, the he's, Dakota he's looks survived. like he uh, did some sideboarding as well uh, for the draw yeah. play scenario. Dakota, of course, uh, I think he probably took out those baffling ends. Wouldn't that be surprised one bit? It just... And it brought in his earlier creatures, just because he's on the play. I wonder if Dakota, yeah, one of, one of the both players doing the same thing. Uh, sideboarding for the situation to where one person is now the aggressor, the other person is the, uh, they want to stabilize and turn the corner. Of course... That's what I would do. Yeah, all Dakota, in theory, has to do is, you know, just go wide and go big. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to expect to uh, settle the wreckage out of Ted's sideboard here, especially considering Ted just curved out perfectly. Yeah. All right, both players cutting. We're going to see if both players keep their seven. Yeah, last time they both uh, molded down the six. Both, they both molded the six, both stride to the bottom. All right, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, Ted looks like he has planes, planes, history. Ted's got a lot of lands. Oh in yeah, end. he has four lands. No, just three. But he does have the knight. He has knight history. He has knight and history. He's no elf it. again for the code. He just passes the back eighth through harvest. I like Ted's hand a lot. Yes, Ted's hand looks really good. All right, so we just got the meta game. All right. For the PPDQ, we're, we're gonna, gonna read count it up for you. We're gonna count it up and give you the whole numbers as players playing Murphy Branch Walker to play there. Uh, from... We're also gonna tell you who won and who lost. Or round one, yeah. so you know how they're looking, and we'll update you later if you guys want to know what uh, what a certain player is doing right now, how they are, their record. I'm trying to write this, but uh, our table back here is on a play mat, so it's hard to write. Nine of Malice to play there from Ted. Dakota probably just sighs in disgust. He has to see that card again. Here. You get Adam Bowman on Modern Red Gift. Taylor alluded to some spice from Mr. Bowman and. There it is. Count that up. Yeah, at least two players on these vehicle decks. Risk card of the play there from Dakota. That's uh, a pretty good one. It is, but he still cannot attack the Night of Malice. Night of Malice is such a good card. <laughs> like, it's it's doing so much work against Dakota right now. It's kind of funny, actually. We still have a Monsters player. You're still out there, Monster fans. Uh, I think the Monsters player lost, right? Uh, Monsters did lose round one, yeah. Yeah. Turn three on the draw. Still pretty good to play History Banalia. Ted's curve out is definitely happening. Yeah, he's getting aggressive. I like the Ted thinking about it and just decides, eh, just pass it back. He can't get through this wall right now. Another land there from the Dakota, but he has Lyra Dawnbringer in hand. He's got land number five in hand, too. Is that a shot? Ooh. Dakota has a thrashing Bromadon in his hand. Yes, he does. I'd like to say both players are actually looking very good. Yeah, this is... What players are drawing? All right, so for the metagame, what we're going to do is we're going to make a straw poll uh, of all the decks that we could put on camera, and uh, we're going to post it in chat. Uh, we'll make that in between rounds, all right? And then you guys can decide what deck you guys want to see on camera next round, or just in the five rounds of Swiss, all right? We'll try to get some variants. Try to... Yep. It's a turn four Lyra Drawbringer off the Rich card. That's a very good play there from Dakota. Yeah, Lyra's huge. Yeah, we'll try to make sure we get some uh, decks you want to see, the players you want to see as well. Yeah, if you guys have any players you want to see, uh, also just, uh, that won't be in the straw poll. We'll just put uh, deck types or yeah. archetypes. But you can we'll, just let we'll us know. We'll try to make sure, that. too, we're showing you uh, players that will be live for top eight and all, all that good stuff. Yeah, we'll. We'll probably just keep it with the uh, XL players, maybe X1 players. There's a Wizards deck. Uh, they did not win round one, though. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, that's no surprise. Wizards has not been looking too hot. Um, fairly, So fairly five rounds of Swiss, the top eight should be XOs and X1s. Yeah. There might be an or X1 one might also make it. Maybe. Well, I'm not going to type your math. Bernie one is really good at it. I'm sure he'll have it well, all yeah, figured we'll, out soon. We'll ask Bernie. Uh, but yeah. 
because 21 players is not a lot, so you should be able to... But I still think two losses will probably make it so you can't make it in. I already messed up this meta. I already <laughs> messed everything up. <laughs> Terrible life. <laughs> Here, you want me to do it? No, I got it. All, All right, right, so... Both players were previously just staring at each other, waiting to see who blinks first, but this Lyra Dombringer is just serious work because it just chews through everything Tid has on the board right now. But there's an Aether here Harvester. It's going to get blown up by a Bronson on there, right? If I mean, Harvester could. I don't think Dakota needs to do that, though. This Lyra just blocks it cleanly. Lyra's a 3 3? Lyra is a 5 5. 5 5 flying first strike lifelink. Oh, yeah, it is a 5 5. It's a foil. It's a foil liar Dawnbringer, in fact. And it's oh, wow. in there. It's pretty least promo, but a foil middle list. They could have getting in there. Gains five. Tip takes five down to 15. I'm remembering up liar for you guys. The clock is on. Liar Dawnbringer. For card. some reason, I was thinking it was a 3 3. Nope. That's my bad. I mean, you're a little bit young for Bane Slayer Angel, but this is essentially Bane Slayer Angel. Yeah. And people who are not young enough and remember what that <laughs> card did knew how good it was. I was saying uh, this in a. Nakota uh, using sealed, the Thrash and Brontodon to uh, get rid of the history of Benalia. There is no blue-red gift for the person asking about that earlier. I do not see blue-red yeah, uh, gift Yeah, currently anywhere. I see the deck is kind of dead in the meta, and especially you do not want I don't, to I don't think it's dead. I just well, think it's not as... For a PPDQ, uh, the fir especially the first PPDQ, or one of the first ones in this area, so like when you haven't gotten practice with competitive REL, you don't want to be bringing in this deck that does that is... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not reliable, I guess. With I mean, possible deck matchups out there. I mean, I just think that um, it took advantage of a certain metagame that used to exist pre-Dominaria, yeah. as we get some attacks in to cut in a block. Well, Dominaria, it just got weakened, and yes. you don't want to bring it into a competitive REL event where you're not 100% sure if it can actually yeah. uh, compete with these other decks. Right, I just think it uh, weakened a little bit, and you want to be sure uh, this early on is Ted finally plays a Heart of Kieran in his vehicle deck to credit enter in cycles, untaps, he's going to draw a... Planes. Is that a second Lyra in Dakota's hand? It is? I don't see it. Yeah. Uh, we're also being told he top deck three lands in a row. We'll see. Uh, Shalai in there, too. Shalai is very right, important. So I, I believe it's Shalai, Lyra, land, and I don't know about the others. Well, those are some pretty good cards. Which does mean that if this Lyra dies, he might have the backup, which is very big. All right, so Ted's down to 13. Cody's at 24. Ted needs to find an answer to this Lyra. His own Lyra. And Shalai's going to make that far more complicated. His own Lyra will be not bad, but the Shalai is really going to put pressure on Ted. He now has Ted to, can't really race this either. No. Ted has to answer Shalai first before answering Lyra, and that is a the big problem. The thing I see right now is double blocking with his vehicles, and that seems real bad. And Shalai's going to put a damper okay. in that, too, because he gets to spread up some counter. Shalai. Yeah. I'm um, sorry. Shana, the follow-up. Dakota. I think it's not a second liar in his hand. I think it's just the Shana. Dakota now in a commanding board state. Oh, yeah. This Lyra is huge. It's done a 10-point life swing. Or 20-point life swing, sorry. Because it gained uh, Dakota's hand and did 10 to Yeah, yeah. Bed. Dakota is just getting way too much life. He's an untap with a protected Lyra. Uh, also, Shalai is a 4-5, uh, since Lyra actually gives other angels um, yeah, both lifelink. And it gives, yeah, and plus lifelink. And lifelink. <laughs> 10 needing uh, Fumigate really badly here. How many angels are do we have in standard currently? We have the, uh, uh, which one's the other bird angel that reanimates things? Tashar? Uh, yeah, so we have Tashar, Lyra. Is that an angel? I think it's just a spur soldier. Oh, it might be just a bird soldier. Uh, well, we have Lyra and Shalai, for sure. Angel of Invention is also oh. another Angel of the Format. Yeah, we have Sarah Angel. We have... Is Sarah, is Sarah Angel of the Format? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was Prince of the Dominaria. Oh. No, no. Was it? I think it was. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it was. Pretty sure it was. Can I actually run figure that out for us? I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. Aha! It was. It was a Dominaria. With a new artwork, though, that looks pretty, yeah, pretty it, bad. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the new artwork. It should just be the same artwork. I know, I just love the classic artwork so much. Exactly, yeah. Let's um, bring it up. Let's bring it up. Let's let everyone else decide. This is the new Sarah Angel Can chat Angel tell artwork. me how many angels we have? Keep listening them for me. So we have four angels right now. Angel of Invention. Oh, wait, there's two angels in Kaladesh. Is the Invention one the one that... Oh. Angel Sanctions is from um, a couple of... What about the one that resets your life total, the 20? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember the, remember the okay. name of it, though. It's the really bad one that costs seven mana. So there's that one. 
Um, Ted and a pickle here. He's going to crew a Fisher Harvester. It's not going to do anything, though. That's the problem. It's like he has no attacks. Yeah. I think he sees the block. Which Even is then, he's, terrible, he's just not but... in a good state right now. Yeah. And I think he's starting to realize that he's just n not in the best of state. Oh, so, wait. Hunt. We have a streamer pulling up all the angels. Uh, Tiana uh, Ship's caretaker is a is, is an angel red, white artificer? angel. Yeah, that seems so a little angel weird. Of Sanctu all right, there's actually a lot of angels. All right, there's so a fair amount of angels. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get away with making angel an angel. Angel of Condemnation. Angel of Invention. Angel of Sanctions. Angel of the God of Faria. Uh, Cabal is not it's an angel. Not it, just an angel. Has it just has the word angel in the same somewhere. So exquisite archangel is the five five for seven that resets a life total. Lyra Dawnbringer, uh, Seraph of the Suns, Sarah Angel, Shalai Voice of Plenty, uh, Tiana Ships Caretaker, Victory's Herald, which is just the one that's in the base or like in the starter like decks. the welcome decks. Yeah, the welcome yeah. decks. Wing Seraph, or no, Wing uh, Shepherd. Shepherd. Sorry. So what you're saying is as a uh... Tip did attack in, and Dakota, I don't think, cares about this. Uh, Whisper Weaver Angel. I haven't been counting, but that's it. All right. So you try to make an Angel Travel deck? No, seems terrible. So, very Actually, important there. Start your curve so, people were uh, mentioning Dakota's uh, flooding out, which he was, but he has six mana now, which means he gets to um, activate the Shalai only off of his mana, which means all his creatures are free to attack. Right. There are 13 angels. It's possible. You're, uh, you have two angels that have CMC 4, so you just need a play removal up until turn 4, and you play angels. Deck's viable. Alright, let's see it. Shalite activated, and we got a lot of damage incoming, boys and girls. A lot of damage. Dakota wants to make sure if he can do that lethal. I mean... His Rish card is a 4-4. Four, four. His Mercury Branch Walker is a 4-3. Lyra is a 6-6. Six, six. Shalai is a 3-4, 4-5, 5-6. Five, and Shayna is a 6-6. Six, six. He's just coming in to kind of playing it hesitantly. Maybe maybe he knows that uh, Duck Ted, uh, Ted might have the settle, settle the wreckage there. I think Ted needs to settle here. But wait, 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 he can't. He can't cast that out because Dakota has hexproof. Oh, it targets. Yeah, settle wreckage says settle wreckage targets. Can you pull up settle wreckage? Yeah, I didn't realize that. That's interesting. That's why. That's why Shalai uh, is the so thing, good. Shalai has um, lifeline because of Lyra. Yes. So Dakota can just gain a ton of life here. All right. There it is. Settle wreckage. Exile all attacking creatures. Target player controls. Yep. All right. Shalai. I was like, I should know this because I've been trying to tinker cool. uh, Shalai and some Red Black decks because it's so that right there. Yeah. Play a deck with white and you can settle yourself to ramp Why yourself. Would... Come on. Think no. of the possibilities. No. To ramp yourself to 14 lands to cast that seems Approach of the Second Sun twice in one turn. That seems <laughs> All right. So Ted has um, three creatures in the battlefield. Well, two creatures in a vehicle. So he has two blockers here. This is definitely not looking good for Ted. No, no, no. Dakota is so far ahead. I think Ted kind of lost this game when Lyra came into play. And then I got think, followed up with Shalai. I think Dakota was able to ramp it to turn 4 Lyra, turn 5 Shalai. It was turn 5 Lyra? He just ha didn't have the four, fifth land. No, it was turn 4 because um, he did it turn 4 because of Rishkar. Oh, I think you're right, actually. Yeah, because of Rishkar then. You're right. Yeah, Rishkar, spread some counters, yeah. you have to untap player. We get a crew on the Harvester. All right. I think Ted's looking to see if there's any way he can kill both Shayna and a creature. But there's just, there's just not. He doesn't have enough damage out there. Yeah. These are the blocks. Uh, both Rishkar and the Heart of Kieran get a trade. Shayna's going to trounce over this very pretty knight token. I do love that knight art. But most importantly, the Chalai is still on the battlefield. Ten, 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 ten life. Ten life, yeah. There's a fatal push in Ted's hand. He's going to use... Okay, that's a start. Fatal push down Shalai. Uh, because of revolt from the yes things dying. So that's okay. Good. All right. Now he can settle the wreckage. So Ted's actually he has to, he has to in find this it though. Game. Draw for turn was a swamp. That well, is he not has settled. Three the wreckage. lands in his hand. That's no good. 
Does he have any? What's that fourth card? That's I think white. he just gets all lands. No, 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 no. That is a Thank, no land card. It that's is a white. scavenger ground. Uh, maybe? Thank you, Perath, 1977, for the follow as he plays the scavenger ground. Okay, it is a scavenger ground. That's unfortunate. Appreciate the follow, that Perath. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for spending your Saturday with us. All right, so Ted's just gonna pass. Yeah, he just drawn a million lands this game. Six in play, three in hand. Definitely not ideal. Back up for scared from Dakota. He's gonna grow some creatures. Say, I'm gonna put some counters on Lyra and Shayna. Seems pretty good. Lyra's now seven. seven. There's also a sheep oasis uh, in play for Dakota. We're not going to use it. No, we're not going to use it. a flying blocker. No point. And then a hand. Branch Walker finds on land. Is what it is. But it grows Shayna. Shayna's now a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. It's pretty Big good. Big John Ottawa. Big John Ottawa. Presumably you are Big John and you're from Ottawa, Canada. Thank you for watching us from presumably Ottawa, Canada. You're watching Dakota Howell get in there for a buttload of damage against Ted. Yep. Just those two. Uh, two seven one, sevens. Two, yeah, two seven sevens. It's a lot of damage. That is a very accurate statement. It is a uh, lot of damage. So Ted can take one of them if he so chooses. I think he preferred not to. As Ted is checking his sideboard to say, okay, what are my outs here? Is it even worth it still playing? Ted has two. He brought in at least two solo wreckages, so that's his only out. And Dakota has a land in hand, right? And that's it. So, like, if Ted top decks a settler wreckage and Dakota swings in with everything, which he shouldn't yeah. do. Yeah, is... no, T Dakota's playing around settle perfectly. Yeah. Uh, I think I also saw a Fumigate in Ted's main, though. So that's his only out. I don't want to be a place Fumigate, though. Like, I, I can see it, but. I saw one in you, the. You did see one? When okay. he was cyborging the second time, I'm, I'm pretty positive I saw okay. one. That might want to check and see, okay, do I still have Fumigate here? So that's his only out, because Dakota is playing around uh, settle. He has no reason to attack with everything either. Because. Uh, yeah. Like, these two attackers is yeah, above yeah. lethal. Yeah, yeah. And we have some blocks. Okay. So, Ted blocking like that makes me think that... He's playing towards Humigate. Yeah. Because he's like, well, this is it. are gonna die, whatever. This is the turn of the draw, because they're gonna have Ted in the air next turn. Yep. Alright, let's see it. I don't even know what that is. What is it? It's Invoke the Divine, the uh, artifact enchantment removal. Okay, yeah, yeah. That is not Viewing Gate. It does not wipe the board. It does not kill every attacking creature. But Ted looks like he's going to press on. Make him earn it. Might as well. Nope, nope. Just shows the hand. That'll do it. Dakota Howell All and right. his Legends takes this match two games to one over Ted uh, Wire. Yeah, so Wire. <laughs> Single-handedly won that game with yeah. Shalai back. Turn four Lyra into turn five Shalai. Normally you play those inversely, but in that situation there, uh, uh, off the rich card was pretty good. I would good. rather go, yeah, off the rich card, Lyra's versus yeah. Obviously you want to check out the, five, the Bane Slayer intro out as soon as possible there. Yep. Dakota able to lower his curve. Uh, didn't see Mox Ambers at all, or Lamber Elves, but uh, able to lower Dakota his curve does nonetheless. does play Mox Ambers. Yes. At least he was playing the Mo uh, one He was day. playing both Elf and Mox Amber with a Via. He mentioned he made some changes. That honestly could have been the changes. Maybe when I was he's playing just... against him on Wednesday, he drew like double yeah. Mox and like three Llanowar Elves, so I think he cut those. I mean, he just or could be straight up ring white mid-range now, you know, still playing off the Ancient Legends as his top end of Chain of Two. Yep. Uh, cutting back on some Mox Ambers. Uh, people do think that Mox Amber will be cracked. Um... Maybe it will be, maybe it won't. I do think the Kudo's in the right track to try to crack that Mox Amber deck with uh, this green white base uh, strategy. Yeah, of I definitely note, like though, the Kudo's deck. Yeah, I do too. Of note, though, uh, the one interesting thing to remember about Mox Amber is that having a Karn in play doesn't allow you to make tap, mana. Make, yeah. make his Karn's only really colorless mana. Yep. Uh, Sony22, thanks for the follow-up. That'll do it for round two. Um, we're going to finish about, this meta. We're, we're going to finish... Finish typing out the uh, archetypes and meta for this tournament. Here we'll we are, six us, yeah. six minutes or so left. That way, we'll have a better idea of some of the matchups yep. we can make available we'll to a you. Straw poll and a yeah, chat we'll make a straw poll. Let we'll you know what kind on. of decks you want to see, and we'll try our best to get into that because we want also want to we want to give you what you want to see, but we want to show you relevant matches. So, for that being said, uh, we'll be back in about six or so minutes for round number three. Stay tuned. We'll see you then. Marshall pass. Yeah.